boy Venom playing video games to show cancer whose boss is a force to be reckoned with with a Contra Force. Kappa. Shout outs to cancer survivors and the Contra crew, Mr. K, Herplat, Hyde, and the DK Stage 2 hype. We have $25 from Link. Um, we need another chair. Sup, it's Link here. Contra Force is my favorite Contra. I want to dedicate my oh, first okay. donation oh, of the marathon to my here. grandma, who was a cancer survivor, and thanks to the wonders of modern medicine, and is a cancer survivor thanks to the wonders of modern medicine. Hopefully, she will never have to suffer through cancer again, and I love what the speedrun community is doing to help that happen. We have $25 from Hikari Moro. Was going to donate later today, but since I was so entertained by everyone during the Shinobi Legions, I decided to throw my monies out to you guys now. Love that you guys are doing this for a great cause. That was the end of the Awful Games Done Quick block here at Awesome Games Done Quick, presented by Speed Demos Archive and Speed Runs Live. The next block will be the Contra block. Starting with Contra, a co-op run done by DK28 and Hydeman. Fire percent hype. No, there is no shirtless, there is no low percent. I brought mine from two years ago, but we have upgraded. Like Donkey Kong. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ready? Is the timer ready? Is the timer ready? Ready, ready. All right. 80%. Yes. Sadly. All right, and ready, set, and go. <clears throat> so this is Contra. You might not know, but <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty great game. This past year has been a great year for Contra. Um, TMR has astounded us by getting a 10.08. That's the man right there, shout outs. And uh, also, this, um, We've got uh, an update on the co-op run. Uh, DK28 and I got a 10.01, any percent. And um, what's going on right now, there's a, there's a lot of differences in the mechanics with two players. Um, you're, when you start the game, you, player one is gonna be a little bit further to the right of the screen. Normally when you do one player, you're in the center. This allows you to do some stuff you wouldn't normally be able to do. So what um, what Ivan's gonna do is in the next room he's gonna try to pick up R. No, he's got R. He's gonna get R. I'm gonna get R. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I got them wrong. Well, someone's mm -hmm. getting R. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at the headband. Look at the headband. That's what I should do. In the base stages, Hyben's gonna go for what's called a spread rhythm. Mm -hmm. So one mechanic of Contra is that you can all enemies. All the enemies in Contra can only take one damage per frame. When you fire spread in the base stages, it fires a wave of five shots, and they all hit at the same time, so that, that would just do one damage. So what you want to try to do is you want to manip manipulate it from a wave of five into just a straight stream of bullets, a red chainsaw of death. And so the way to do that is to manipulate the game's shot limit. I'll write on about that in a little bit. Yeah, it's very <laughs> difficult. 
boss fight. Nice. nice. So the way that the game works is you can only have 10 spread shots on the screen at any given time. And once one of the shots leaves the screen, you can shoot again. So you can have like a wave of five, a wave of four, and then just one. And you can keep doing that as long as there's less than 10 shots on the screen. And as you keep mashing at a certain pace and at a certain time, you can manipulate it into getting a straight stream of bullets. You can do that at any stage. It's a little bit trickier in the base stages. That was a nice flame jump. The jump height in this stage is random. Um, I don't know why they did it that way, but that's just how they did it. Should I get it? No. R. Rhetor rhetorical. <laughs> <laughs> R for rhetorical. Okay. Yeah, spread without R in the base stages, no good. It is so slow. What exactly does R do? Speeds up um, the bullets. And it makes a huge difference in the base stages. Yeah. So player two is not shooting here. Uh, because the game just lags too much. And then the two of them together could get an nice. easy one mouse cycle kill on the boss. <coughs> so a little bit more about the spread rhythm. So the reason why you can get a straight stream of bullets is because on these base stages, the enemies are all, they're all just a little bit in front of the wall. And so there's this one frame where there's nine shots on the screen. And so if you press B on that exact frame, you can get a wave of just one. And so the, menor the more you manipulate that, the more you get a straight stream of bullets, and the easier it is. So the default is two, but if you, get to, if you get spread rhythm right, there's no limit to how many you can get. You can get, a, people, you can get up to like five on console, five or six. It's insane. And you can see how powerful P shooter with R is on base stages. I can usually destroy the core before hide even though you have spread, which is really good. Just a, one area. So my kills. So coming up, this boss has an interesting mechanic. Um, so when the two heads appear, there's a counter well, you know, it doesn't really matter in two players, you just kill him anyway. There's a counter that determines Ooh. how long it takes until he splits apart. If you hit him on the last frame, it messes with the invulnerability flag and you can hit them while they're split apart. <coughs> it's <coughs> really <coughs> annoying to get in one player. Uh, no, you can grab it. You sure? Yeah, you're in better position. Right. You want the first R then? Yes. <laughs> So in two-player, you can just run through the snowfield without having to jump for the bombs. It is wonderful. <laughs> yeah, there's actually an interesting fact about the bombs. Um, they don't explode. They, they can't actually hit you until they explode in the ground. And Super C, they can hit you. That was bad. <coughs> so I guess I should say a little bit about... So I'll take it this way. This game's got a lot of randomness to it, so that's gonna make it fun. Crystal spread. So we get low percent after all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the, all who donated for it. <laughs> Getting revenge on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Failed to donate. So this game's got a ton of randomness to it. Um, Arm pumping. Really? Like uh, DK likes to say, when you jump in Contra, it's like you buy an engagement ring because your jump height is set and you can't change it, unlike you know, like a Mario game or something. <laughs> and so because of that fact, enemies can just appear on the screen at the most inopportune times and shoot you and you can't really change the direction of your jump enough to compensate for it. If the game wants to kill you, it can just kill you when you're in midair. You will die. Where the spawns, spawns is random. <coughs> you want me to? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so 
coming up this energy zone. The, the thing the energy zone is known for is the flames. The game has uh, what's called a global timer, and it's a counter from 0 to 255 that changes every frame, so about every, every three and a half seconds or so. It's always cycling over. And so you don't know where it is when you're going into it, but it determines when the flames come out. So you kind of wait a little bit there for safety, and then make your move. You can manipulate the uh, flames with the pause if you want, because the global timer runs when you're pausing. The boss here is completely random. What you want him to do is just walk back and forth, but he likes to jump. Nice. Yeah. That yeah, actually went another. Depends on how you use it. Yeah. <clears throat> For the base stages, um, fire is amazing. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Because, especially with art, because it's the fastest way to kill anything in the base stages. But um, it does just as much damage as the pea shooter. Yeah, I'll... Um, so what kind of sucks is that um, there's an invisible wall that prevents the players from getting too far apart. And if you don't expect it, it can come at the most inopportune times. Yeah, it's a marathon, so you gotta miss Fred. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how it goes. Uh, so you're gonna go for the posture? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, That's what the game does. Yeah, Contra is <clears throat> pretty consistent single player. And co-op, it kind of just like doubles the chances for failure. Um, it's completely opposite when it comes to Super C, though, for whatever reason, which we'll get into later. That's the Frezzy kill. <coughs> <laughs> Takes a little bit longer when you don't have spread. Yeah. <laughs> The awesome thing is that even if you don't have spread, if you mash hard enough with P-Shooter, it's still really good. I actually prefer low percent, so... I'm trying the same boat. <laughs> okay. For the most part, unless uh, you don't get some... Uh, unless this one spawn here that's coming from the top doesn't... Uh, misbehave, this stage is really consistent. We call that the Contra Scream. The sound of getting hit by Time. bullets overlays. Time. 1040. Mm. Wow. Bad. Yeah. Bad for what we were, <laughs> bad for what we were delivered. We didn't game over. Yeah. That, that's, that was our goal. <laughs> you beat Contraforce in that respect. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so next up is Co-op Super C with uh, Mr. K and Heidman. All right. Yes. Um, there's a thing with Super C though. That's fine. See, and Contra, I am player one, and Super C, I kind of have to turn into player two. We have an $80 donation from Batibok with no comments, unfortunately. But we have a $50 donation from Mayor K's fan club, Contra forever and ever and ever. <laughs> and we
Five percent hype. No, there is no shirtless. There is no low percent. Chair. Sup, it's Link here. Contra Force is my favorite Contra. I want to dedicate my oh, first okay. donation oh, of the marathon to my yeah. grandma, who was a cancer survivor, and thanks to the wonders of modern medicine, and is a cancer survivor thanks to the wonders of modern medicine. Hopefully, she will never have to suffer through cancer again, and I love what the speedrun community is doing to help that happen. We have $25. boy venom playing video games to show cancer whose boss is a force to be reckoned with with a contra force kappa shout outs to cancer survivors and the contra crew mr k herplat hyde and the dk stage two hype we have 25 dollars from link um, we need another this from hikari moro was going to donate later today but since i was so entertained by everyone during the shinobi legions I decided to throw my monies out to you guys now. Love that you guys are doing this for a great cause. That was the end of the Awful Games Done Quick block here at Awesome Games Done Quick, presented by Speed Demos Archive and Speed Runs Live. The next block will be the Contra block, starting with Contra. A co-op run done by DK28 and Hydman.